everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I'm going to go over how to automate text uh, and in our example I'm going to show you how to create a plot stamp uh, which includes file path uh, as well as save date and time. Uh, this will automatically update on your drawings and you can place this text anywhere you want. Uh, you can also use this technique and this option in AutoCAD to automate uh, a variety of text including dimensions, M text, single line text, title blocks, uh, and more. So let's get started. So in this video we're going to be using fields to automate text within AutoCAD. Uh, you can use fields for a variety of uses including automating uh, a file path, a file name, uh, dimensions, uh, text for title blocks, for figure or drawing numbers, uh, dates, uh, the last person to save or use a drawing, um, and a variety of uses. Once you know how to use it, uh, you can explore and, and go from there. Uh, some people use a ton of them in a drawing, other people just use a couple. Uh, but it can definitely help automate specific uh, tasks and speed up your drawings. So in our example, we're going to create an M text to start. And like I mentioned at the start, we're going to, to insert a file path as well as a save date and time, uh, as well as maybe the person or user who would save this. And this is going to be what we call a, a plot stamp or a location stamp. So you can find this drawing using the file path as well as who worked on it last. Uh, and then you're going to be able to move this text wherever you want and then save it into your template or your, uh, your uh, initial drawing that you start with usually. So to start, we've got an M text here started uh, for a multi-line text object. And we're going to right click inside of it and insert field. Uh, you can also use up top here the insert field button. Uh, I prefer the right click. We're going to hit insert field. And then from there, you're going to be able to select a category of what kind of a field uh, which is an automated uh, text uh, field, uh, which one you'd like to use. We're going to choose from the drop-down date and time as well as document for this example. Uh, to start we'll use document and we're going to add in the file name and then along the right here you can choose if you want path and file name which is the entire saved path which I recommend so that you can find your drawings later once you print them. You simply just need to follow the path and you'll be able to find it. You can also display the extension which I like to use uh, especially if you're working in an office or in an environment where you're using multiple file types uh, like GIS file types or uh, Bentley or Inventor so you can tell what software was used to create the drawing. Then you can also select uppercase, lowercase, capital of the first, any of that. I'm just going to stick with none so that it doesn't change anything from what's the uh, actual path. So when we hit OK, it's going to insert that. And the nice thing with this is it's going to rename this or change this text whenever this path changes. Uh, so you've got an always updated file path. And then at the start you can just add standard text like you normally would. So I'm just going to name this file path so now this text is going to auto populate each time you save this drawing. And if you add this to your template, all of your drawings will have this file path. So we can put it up here. And you don't need this big, it doesn't need to be to stand out. You can even kind of grayscale it. So you can see I've made it a little smaller. It's kind of hidden up there. Most people won't even notice it, but you'll know when you're looking at a printed drawing where to find it. So we're going to add another field here, and for this one we're going to change it to, or we're going to add the text save date, and, it, and we're going to insert another field. This time we'll use the button up here. We're going to go date and time, and you're going to choose save date. You can also make this plot date, uh, but I, I prefer the last date it was saved personally. Uh, and then you can also choose your uh, style for your uh, date. Let's just use this one here, July 5th, 2017. 
and hit OK. So now you've got your file path as well as your save date automatically populated. If you'd like, you can double click your field to go back in and edit it. And in our case, maybe we'd like to add the time. So we can just choose one down here that has the time and hit OK. So now you know when somebody plotted your drawing. Next, we can add one more thing here to kind of finish off our, uh, our print stamp or plot stamp. And we're going to add saved by. And this will just give us the name of the user. So we're going to go to document last saved by and it's going to show admin. If you're working on a big network or at a company, uh, typically this will be the name of the user. Uh, in my case, I have a single user on this computer and it's simply admin. But this way you can track who was PDFing, when they made it, and where the file is saved. So this way if you need edits done, you know who to talk to, when it was last edited, and where it's located so it's easy to find and edit. So there you go. Now you can use these fields to populate all kinds of uh, text objects. You can see down here, since these are grayed out, that means it's an automatic uh, field and it'll be populated. Uh, in this case, these are populated by the sheet set. You can also change out text by double clicking on it, deleting it, and adding a new field. Uh, for this one here, I'm just going to change it to the file name and remove the file extension. So now I can see I have a file name that's going to auto update in the bottom right here. You can also change the text size like I'm going to here. And you can add any uh, options like you would with any other text. You can make it italic. You can make it bold, you can make it underline. It, it acts just like a normal text object. But, and I'll show you right now, these are all going to update uh, when you save your drawing. So if we save as, and we change this drawing, we make a save as as a drawing number two, and we're just going to call it uh, drawing number two, we're going to add something called example. So you can really tell that it's changed. And we're going to hit save. You can see the drawing name right here, automatically updated. And you can see up here the drawing path is updated, as well as the save time. This can be really helpful. Uh, and save drawings from going out with the wrong information. This way everything automatically updates when you save it. Uh, to get fields to update, uh, a save will update them as well as typing in regen and hitting enter. That'll regenerate your drawing as well as grab all the new field information. You can use fields in sheet sets, which I go over in my sheet set course, which is available on cadintentions.com. Uh, in there, I show you how to set up a sheet set as well as a, a title block where all of this information here is automatically populated by your sheet set. So when you update a sheet set, your drawing title block information updates as well. Uh, I can save you a ton of time, and that's available in my sheet set course on cadintentions.com. As always, thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll add them to my list. I try to make one new video every week, and I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and leave a comment. Cheers! Thanks for watching the video, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here, uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.